And of course, every Wednesday, and this is Wednesday, KSNT <laughs> News political analyst Dr. Bob Beatty answers your questions about the 2016 election. Bob has gotten numerous questions over the past couple of weeks about third party candidates. So specifically why they won't be in next week's debates and whether the system works against them. Bob, let's get right to those questions. What is the relevance of third party candidates in the presidential election this year? Yeah, there's a really high interest in third party uh, candidacies and they can be very relevant, especially in a year like this in which the major party candidates have such high negativity ratings. Let's take a look at the TV ad that the Libertarians, Gary Johnson and Bill Weld, are running in a number of states across America. The difference between the two of us and the other candidates running for president is that we've been there. And done that. Give us one term, America, and if after four years you decide you don't like peace, prosperity, and freedom, you can always vote a Trump or a Hillary back into office again. Johnson Weld 2016, our best America yet. What say, America? You in? Come on. Well, we had one viewer uh, write in and ask why these two candidates will not be debating next week. And the simple answer is that there's a debate commission called the Commission on Presidential Debates that has set a 15% poll number that the candidates have to get to participate in the debates. Now, who sets that 15%? Well, think about this. Who's in charge of this commission? It's the former chair people of the Republican and Democratic Party. So clearly the, the, par the two major parties have a stake in not necessarily seeing those third party debates. Personally, I think you certainly could have a debate in early September, for example, with maybe a cutoff of 8 or 9% with all those candidates and later cut them off. But right now the two parties really aren't in favor of seeing those third party candidates debate. Another viewer, Mariana, she emailed in to ask you this. She wants to know why there isn't a uniform federal ballot and what link that could have with third parties. Yeah, that's, that's a really good question, and that makes it harder for third parties to get on the state ballots because in the United States we have something called federalism in which the states are in charge of voting. Now, a lot of people like this because they don't want a powerful federal government, but on the other hand, that means different rules all across America on adding any voting regulation. So in some states, it can be really difficult, Jared, to actually get on the ballot as a third party candidate. And last question here, Bob, real quickly. Roberta wrote and asked, if the voting system should be revised and we should get, should we get rid of the Electoral College? Well, the Electoral College is always a, a big issue, and, and a lot of people argue that third-party candidates would benefit in if the vote was allocated proportionally in an electoral system, and that's certainly true. So you could revise the electoral system maybe to help third-party candidates. Interesting stuff. Well, thank you, Bob. Sure. Well, as our election coverage continues through November, Bob will be answering your questions every Wednesday leading up to the general election. If you have a question, just email it to askbob at ksnt.com.